The search for extraterrestrial intelligence or SETI for short has been happening for over 60 years, but so far, we haven't received any messages from any alien civilizations. Astronomers estimate there are about 2 trillion galaxies in the universe, and that's becoming more conservative each time we look farther into the observable universe. And each galaxy on average contains about 100 billion stars. A famous equation called the Drake Equation, put forward by Frank Drake in 1961 calculates that there could be about 36 intelligent civilizations in our galaxy right now who are able to communicate using technology such as radio waves. So the interesting question is, if we were to receive a message from an alien civilization then what message would that be? This podcast explores five different types of scary or spooky messages we could one day receive. Number 5. A warning. Consider the scenario where we receive a message from a civilization that says we had better keep quiet. Because there is another predator civilization out there and if it became aware of our presence it may come to destroy us. There are examples in the animal kingdom of animals warning other animals of the presence of a predator. This kind of warning could strike fear into humanity and could lead to us shutting down our SETI program and ensuring no radio transmissions are broadcast into space for the predator to detect. But there is a twist. What if the warning message was just a false flag for something else? Perhaps they are actually the predator themselves and don't want another predator to find out because they want us all for themselves, so they tell us to be quiet and in the meantime are sending a fleet of invading spacecraft our way. Number 4. An obituary. One of the saddest messages would be from a dying or long since dead civilization. In their message, they may have encapsulated all their known knowledge in the hope that their existence was not in vain, and that one day another civilization may be able to use their knowledge. We may be able to harness their knowledge and improve our own technology. One twist is if their knowledge includes how to build a wormhole to get to their planet instantaneously, or even a time machine where we could back in time and save them or supply them with whatever they may have needed to survive. Number 3. Please help us. A distress call where you realize someone is desperate for help, but you're unable to assist them can be one of the most disheartening messages to receive. Say for instance if the message was from a planet 10,000 light years away. That means they may have sent the message 10,000 years ago. We may never know of their fate or if another intelligent civilization was able to help them. We could send a message back, but it would take another 10,000 years for them to receive it using current technology. We would need to harness the power of a wormhole or discover faster than light travel like a spacecraft that can fold spacetime to effectively exceed the speed of light in order to be able to provide any assistance. Number 2. A message from a machine civilization. This is particularly scary because this implies that the machine civilization that is communicating with us has taken over from the biological civilization that originally created them. If this were so, then what does that imply about what they may think of us? They may see biological civilizations as a threat and have technology to wipe us out or use us as slaves. They may come in the form of von Neumann self-replicating probes as postulated by John von Neumann. One twist would be that the probes are already in our solar system and that the message we receive was from a relatively short distance away. Maybe the probes are currently hiding in the Trojan asteroids or Jupiter, or the clouds of Venus, or on the dark side of the moon. Number 1. We're already here. Building on number 2, reports of UFOs or unidentified flying objects have been around for hundreds of years. And recently the US Congress announced that UFOs which they now call UAPs or unidentified aerial phenomena are real. It is known that they reflect radar can accelerate at incredible speed with no visible means of propulsion, and appear to be controlled by sentient intelligence that can even predict what a pilot was thinking, as was the case during the famous USS Nimitz encounter with a UAP. The nature of the UAPs is uncertain. Are they from another planet, another dimension, or indeed even spiritual in nature? One message we might receive is an announcement from a UAP that they are already here and have been observing us for hundreds or even thousands of years, and what their purpose is. If they turned out to be von Neumann self-replicating probes then that would be scary indeed. But one twist would be if they had 3D printed humans who look like us and who already live among us. 
Thanks for listening and please like and subscribe for more podcasts. And be sure to check out our other videos and podcasts on this channel about our interesting, fascinating and sometimes spooky universe.